Hello everyone, this is Christina at Christina's Art Corner. It's time for completed pages. And I have Sweetie with me today. Hello. Yes, this is my granddaughter. We did do a buddy color, but I thought it would be kind of fun for her to see the pages that I've colored besides ours and we can get her initial reaction. Sweetheart reacts. <laughs> Sweetheart reacts. Okay, so these are all the books that I worked in. Ooh, wow. So I'm going to put them to the side. They look fun. Yes. All right, so the first one is out of Erie. And this is for my birthday, hashtag K-A-C, birthday, E-R-I-Y. Had to think about it for a second. So this is World Fairy Tales Beyond the Story. And the page that I did. Ooh, I remember seeing this page, but not done. Yeah. It's Ariel. It's Ariel. I love it. I love, I, I love the hair piece. <laughs> Her little... Yeah. Like shell. Like the, the, the pearls. The pearls. The pearls. Yeah. I love the side. I love, I love the ombre in the ocean. So I used Prismacolor uh, pencils and I used polychromos for the hair. What's the glitter? The glitter is sparkling magical watercolors. Ooh, and wow. I used this color here. Pretty. And this one here. So I based it with that and put the silver. You should give like a little turn for the shine. Those are very there shiny. There you go. Very shiny. Of course, and it's very, very shiny. Yes, those are the swatches that are in here. If I were to be reading a Disney book, yes, this is a picture I would want to see in it because it's it's. I oh, well, thank I you. That's nice. So I took inspiration from two people on Instagram and I'm going to put them across the screen when I edit and I did a combination of theirs. So I wound up doing Neocolor 2's on the water and on the sky but for the sky I went over it with Prismacolor pencils just to kind of even it out a little bit and then I used an Ahuhu white acrylic marker for all of the white, the splashes on the beach, on the rocks, and on the ship. And then there is also white highlights here on the side. I like how you did the flags the same because it's the castle flags and the ship um, flag. Yes, they belong together. They belong. But also, but also make, making sure that, why? Yes. And I decided to go with a, a red roof uh, tops, a brown castle, and then the rocks are all in grays, and then the greenery. And so, yeah, I had a lot of fun with this page. This was the last page I did of the month. I wasn't sure that I was going to get it done. It looked very <laughs> nice. Thank you. So that is Erie, K-A-C, birthday Erie, and I'm going to give a little bit of time so that all of you that participated, I'm going to put yours over here, and so we're going to give it a little bit of quiet time while I'm able to go back and edit and put their pictures here so you can see everybody's that participated. And thank you so much. I love seeing all of your pages and thank you for celebrating my birthday with me in March. The next book that I worked in was The Bulls to Boils, and this was a, a hashtag, I'll put it down at the bottom of the screen, with Lavella's coloring. And this month, 
we did this page. And mine is in honor of my dog London, who we had to put down last year. He was a golden whitish lab. And so I went ahead and did him. What do you think? I love that. Does it look like London? It does look like London. <laughs> I like the blue because he has like a turquoise-ish, bluish uh, collar. Yes. So I see where you got the blue from. I like that. Yes, and for this I used ink tents, uh, watercolor pencils, and glaze pen in the butterflies. I love the butterflies. We used to have a lot of uh, yellow uh, butterflies in the spring, so I'm sure we'll see them again. Probably. Yeah, and then I did some red and pink flowers. Awesome. So, yeah, that's my tribute to London Lovely and bear. my participation in the hashtag. I'll show it up a little closer so you can see. Shiny nose. He always did have a shiny nose. Yes. Very <laughs> wet one, too. Uh-huh. <laughs> yes, that's why I did the glaze pen. I see that. <laughs> so bear. that was so that. Cute. I know. Lundy Bear. We miss them, don't we? Yes, very much. The next one is Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls Mermaids and More to Color by Hannah Lynn. All right. And I did this as a buddy color with bubble of coloring and let's see here we did this one. Oh, <laughs> i love you love it love and i use spectrum noir tri-blend alcohol markers pentel sparkle pop pens and i also used some a hoo white acrylic marker it seems to have the finest point tip <laughs> That I can find, that's why I use it. I definitely can tell it's giving cat vibes. Yes. And the sparkles are here on the bows. On the, uh, like the thing she's holding. The ear. Potion. The potion. I, I love the sparkles. I'll move it all around so you I love can the see colors. that. Yeah? Just real question, what is all of this? It's kind of like the ribbons coming out of the bottle. Like, you know, the potions, like magic. Oh, okay coming out of there you could could have made it her hair but I decided to make it ribbons so yeah I did that with bubble of coloring and I'm going to put hers here so that you can see I love hers I always love anything that she colors is super awesome and thank you so much for doing this buddy color with me. We also did another one. It's coming. That was in Hannah Lynn's Sweet and Simple Whimsy Girls. Next. Next is the Magic Jars. And this is by Christina Bashevska. Oh, I just butchered that. Bashevsky. That's probably better. And this is for hashtag Magic Jars Pocket 2024 it's it's my uh, group buddy color that I host and this first month we did this page oh that's so cute I love the bunny <laughs> and it's Easter tomorrow so like, yes <laughs> oh, this is giving Easter yes Easter I mean, vibes I love the tree on the house the, ho the tree house yeah I decided to use my Teo Tree alcohol markers, which I wound up running out of three colors on this page. Oh, boy. So I had to improvise. Improvise. So I had to use some Prismacolor uh, over uh, the background. I used Prismacolor for all of the rest, truly. And then I went in with Posca Pen for the bunny to make him white and black. And then I used Neon Prisma for the flowers. I love it all. With some purple and then there's some Posca. I do like how you did these flies pink and you did a very similar pink with these to make it all pop. Yeah, the butterfly looks cute. <laughs> Where are the bubbles coming in from? Are these polka dots? Yeah. They're bubbles, I guess, because it's a jar. Oh, okay. So, I yeah. like how the jar just leads into yes. everywhere. Yes. And I'm going to put everyone that participated in this hashtag on the left and give us some time to roll through. Thank you to everyone who participated. This was the first month that we did 
the Magic Jars Pocket 2024, and also the book Magic Jars. Is it from Coloring Cafe? I'll put it down on the screen uh, so you can see. Uh, but that book matches less eight pages, so I've been trying to choose the pages that are in both books if you want to participate. No, I haven't seen these uh, people, other people who've done it, but when I rewatch the video, I'm I can't wait to see who else who else has done it because when I see yours, I'm like, oh, I love that. I've never thought of that. And I see other people's because all of the ideas just awesome. Yes. Of, uh, endless coloring. Yes. Scheme you can do for this. Yes, endless possibilities. Okay, hopefully I've given it enough time to give everyone credit for this page. And then next month, we agree to do, let me see, I think I still have all my tags in here. It's not that one. You all voted. It's not the B page. <laughs> I like the B page. It's the elephant page. Because oh, April showers bring May flowers. <laughs> So we're doing this page if you want to participate. Again, it's hashtag Magic Jars Pocket 2024. And I'd love for anybody who wants to, to participate. And I better take that extra tag out just so I don't do the wrong page. There we go. Alrighty, on to the next. Next. I'm excited for this one. You're excited for this one? You like Tropagoth? Yeah. Tropagoth is a, another group buddy holler, uh, <laughs> buddy color that I host. It's hashtag Tropagoth 2024. Last year it was 2023, so if you are participating, make sure you use the 2024. Okay, so this month we did this page. Ooh. <laughs> and I gave it a moody sky. I wound up using uh, Cali Art alcohol markers, Spectrum Noir tri blend markers, Prismacolor over the markers in the backgrounds, both the grass and the sky. And then I used a glazed black pen for her dress. And I also used some Sparkle Pop for her bone and uh, accessories here, her jewelry. I love the hair on the tiger. Yeah. And then I also have some glitter in her iris. Ooh, I see that. Yes. So yeah, it's the first time I've done a moody sky in one of the Tropagoths, and I really like how it turned out. And I did... Suits. I did their eyes the same. I don't know if it's picking up um, but yeah, but their eyes are the same. But yeah, it had super fun uh, coloring this page. I hope you all did too. I'm going to move mine to the side so that all of yours can be displayed. I love how it's giving texture. Yes. I like to put texture in my paintings. I don't know how. <laughs> you can be taught very easily. Thank you to everyone who participated in Tropagoth. We just voted for our April page. And uh, I'll go ahead and show you when we're finished with seeing everybody's. I think there was about eight or nine uh, I mean, people that participated. I know with shading, with smudging the pencil, but that's about it. Yeah. Okay, hopefully you could see everybody's beautiful pages. And for... April, we are doing the next page, which is the disco ball with the parrot. Oh, I gotta add some fun colors to that one. Oh, yeah, this is gonna be fun. I'm excited to see what everybody does. I bled through a little on mine, so I'm gonna have to do something fanciful with that. So that'll be fun right here in the corner. I got some smudge. Oh, that's a small, tiny bit. It's not much. I can fix it. So that is for April. Hashtag, hashtag Tropagoth2024. And, oh, I did want to put this back in there. And then, thank you for your assistance. You're welcome. The next one is Spooky. And this is by Sarah 
Seswick. Oh, I love this coloring book. I can't wait to react to this one. Yes, and this is hashtag Witch Cat Spooky on Instagram. Insta. Are you ready, ready? I'm ready, ready. You'll have to come over here so they can hear you. <gasps> Axolotl! <laughs> this is by far my favorite one so far. I love the colors. It reminds me of the one you did, the, uh, the other one, like the jar. Yes. The thing in the jar. I love this one. By far my favorite. I love the sparkles. I love this creature. I love the black cat. And I love the axolotl. <laughs> so I'm going to turn it a little bit while I talk about what I use. So I use some Teo Tree alcohol markers, and that's where I found out I was running out of some of those, too. <laughs> I used the Spectrum Noir flip markers, and I also used Paul Rubin's watercolor in the background. I love the watercolor. It gives me space spots, like what I did for, yes. the, for our card thing. Yes. And then I used the Sparkling Magical Watercolors glitter over the bubbles and around the jar. And then I also, what did I use over here? Yeah, I think I did use a light layer of this glitter. Just very light, watered down over the gem. I love the how it's like used as if it feels like a cork to in the... A cork in the bottle? Yeah. And then I have some little sparkles on the wings and the tail of the axolotl. Who knew axolotls had wings? Yes. Not me. There's also some glitter on the cat's hat. I love and it's it. it's funny because I did see some of y'all's pages. And Aww. some of you wound up uh, making this the uh, bush here. And that may be right or maybe that's the tail. But I was thinking the way the cat is sitting after I did it. That that tail must be really long. <laughs> but it looks like a tail, right? I think it's a tail. I, I thought so because it didn't have... Um, some of the hash marks in there, but I'm interested to look over everyone's again. Or um, this is just one side of the butt and the other side of the butt <laughs> over there where you can't see it. And the tail says, maybe, maybe this is a very chubby cat. A very chubby cat. <laughs> I know some. So I'm going to put mine to the side. Sorry, I'll put it over here. And then I'll put everyone else's over here. And thank you to everyone who participated in Spooky this month. I'll show the page that you all voted for when we're done seeing everybody's pages. Okay, hopefully you got to see everybody's wonderful, spooky pages. Thank you again for participating. It's so much fun to see all of your lovely pages. And the one that we're doing for April is this one right here. Oh, cute. Yeah, it's very suitable for April. It has some nice flowers and a really cool animal. Lots of stars and things in it. So I'll be interested to see what everybody does, if they do a background or not. These don't really lend themselves to needing backgrounds, but it's fun to do them sometimes. So that will be for April, and that's hashtag Witch Cat Spooky. Thank you, my assistant. You're welcome. The next one is Mini Mania, the first one, by Gabby Wolf. And I did this as a buddy color with Dusty Coloring, or D. And no, I've already had. Sneak I gave peek you at this a sneak one. peek at this one, but what are your feelings on it? I love it. I like how it's like it's rainbow. It's pink, orange, yellow, and green. Mm -hmm. I do wish there was like one more book, two more books for purple and blue. Yes, I love those colors. But I love how the books are the hotel and the houses. It's very nice, and I love the little characters. Yeah, I love all the colors. Can you believe something? There is no glitter on this page. Oh, I didn't notice. 
<laughs> yeah, all the other pages have glitter on it. Why I does know. this one have glitter? I know. You I've, left them out. I left them out. I did all of this in Sue Color Pencils. I love it. I love the color pencils. Yeah. So there's nothing really to show as far as glitter, but I'll show you some of the, the blending that I did. The blending is a very nice job. I like the blending. Thank you. And those characters sure are cute. I love how to the books they added the window seals and the doors and the window. And the blinds and the and curtains. The blinds and, and the clothes. Close, uh, I don't know. The wood shutters? Yeah, the wood shutters. I, I don't understand this. They're notes in the book. Oh. Like, like little like, bookmarks. Because like, like, these. Yes, like these. yes, and like then, these tags. And then I like uh, how they added house. More house things like the air. Yes. But that's, I like it. Yeah. So thank you so much to Dee for participating in this. I wanted to do the one with coloring Bumblebee. I just didn't have time. So I will try to participate next month. That is Mini Mania, Gabby Wool. I'm excited. Oh, and I'm, before we do that, I'm going to put Dusty's up here. Sorry. Sorry, D. <laughs> I loved hers. So yeah, that was Dusty's, and you saw mine. So we're gonna move on to the next book. I'm excited for this one because I love Disney. Disney portraits. So this was a buddy color with Dana's coloring obses obsession and Squishy's coloring on YouTube. She just started a YouTube channel. And she's also squishy coloring on Instagram. And we did, was it? I'm trying to remember now. <laughs> yeah, it was Marie. Oh, cute. We did Marie because uh, Disney Meg's letter that she had for her ABC challenge was M. So we decided to do Marie. And for this, I used Ink Tents for the bows, and then I used Sue Color pencils for the rest. It's and definitely given like no glitter either. <laughs> That's okay, I like it. <laughs> but she's definitely given some sass. Yes, I love the bow. And I put in it reminds the, me of Minnie Mouse. Yes, I put in some blue irises. Those weren't there. So cute. And I'm going to put mine down and show you theirs over here on the right. Both Squishy and Dana's. I love how they did theirs. We all did something different. It's always fun to see each other's and say, oh man, maybe I should have done that. Oh, maybe I could have done that. But we got to love our own pages, right? <laughs> <laughs> right yeah so thank you so much to the both of you and next month we are going to do disney meg's uh letter is b so we're gonna do bambi that <laughs> <laughs> is cute so cute all right next up is affectionately called the bunny book oh so cute uh by catoli and it is uh actually bunny's fairy tales and Disney Meg and I did a buddy color. And I have our next page marked, but I need to get... <clears throat> this month we did this page. Ooh, I love the color. It's like it's so much coloring. I love it. And this is with lots of different media. So I used the Paul Rubens pearlescent watercolors in the background. So you can see it has all different shades when I move it around. And I used Sue Color pencils. I also used uh, Super Golden Markers by Lightwish, Spectrum Noir uh, Flip markers the the uh, glitter markers and I used Posca around the clouds here's where I used the flip markers there's little bits of glitter and all the of the shiny. pillows I can tell like all the different different 
textures. Mm -hmm. right? See a little bit of pencil. Yep, pencil is the couch. What about the balloons? The balloons I did in pencil with Posca around it. Uh -huh. And then there is the uh, Spectrum Noir flip markers That's on so the cute. on all of the details. Was this with a buddy color too? This was a buddy color with Disney Mag, and I'm gonna put hers here. I loved hers. I love her color palette. It turned out really, really great. Got a lot of body colors in this one. Uh huh. Thank you so much, Meg, for participating in our monthly body color. We've been doing this for many months now. And next month, we are going to do this page. Which one? This one. Ooh, exciting. Yeah, it's got a bunch of jars. And all different fun little fishy things, kind of like an underwater scene, but inside. <laughs> so thank you again, Disney Meg. Okay, the next one is my other buddy color with Bubble of Coloring. This is from Jalman Vanger by Tomislav Tomic. And we did this page. Oh, you finished it! I did. That's it. Beautiful. Thank you, Was hon. Just a couple days ago, you showed me this, and it was not even half finished. Yeah, only a little bit of the mushroom was done. <laughs> wow, it's beautiful. I'll put it over here because I think it you could see the uh, glitter better. I love this page. Like, like I always like would want to dream about living in a mushroom house like this. Uh huh. This is beautiful. Thank you. I love the giant mice. Well, I guess it's not. not because they're tiny. Yeah. Because this is like real life, and this is the size of the mushroom. Mm hmm I guess to us it would be that big. It'd be like this small, and yes. the mice are like this small. Do you see the fairy? Yes, I do. <laughs> Very good. Okay, so I used Prismacolor pencils and some polychromos, uh, and I also used Sparkle Pop in two places. It reminds I used... me of Tinkerbell. Like this whole thing is given. Yeah, Tinker Bell vibes. Yeah. This is uh, the silver uh, sparkle pop. And here the window. And then the rim here is in gold. It's beautiful. I like the, the gold really gives it the finishing look. So yeah, this was so much fun. And it took a really long time. Both Bubble of Coloring I were doing this for days and I want to be sure to show hers here. I love how hers turned out. It's uh, blowing up on Instagram. She did a beautiful orange theme. I can't wait to see. Yes. And it's gorgeous. She got finished first and I saw how bright and colorful hers was and you all know I do bright and colorful all the time. So this was me like Toning it down. <laughs> so I did more subtle colors. I love subtle. Yeah. But hers is fantastic. I absolutely... It's stunning. I'll show you. Like Winter Wonderland, but Spring. So Spring Wonderland. Uh-huh. Spring Wonderland. This is definitely giving Spring Wonderland. Yes. So thank you so much, Bubble of Coloring, for suggesting this page. She was wanting to work out of this book. And I said, well, why don't you go ahead and pick a page? Let's do one together. This book can be intimidating sometimes. And uh, I know she had done several and then walked away from it. And I, the only other page that I did was this double page spread. Which again was my bright and shiny. <laughs> I love this. How come I've never seen this one before? You haven't? No, it's beautiful. Thank you. But yeah, I love the castle on this. How it shines. But yeah, so this was super bright, and then I had my my muted <laughs> mushroom. So I still love it though; it's beautiful. This was a challenge for me, and I just thank her so much for suggesting, and glad we pushed each other to do it. Oh, next is our buddy color together. Our buddy color, and we have not seen each other's. This no. is in Magical Chibis by Alexandra Francis. I did this one a few times, but I think I said it right. It looks great. I'm not. Three. Ready? Three, two, two one. Oh wow! <laughs> I've been, 
<laughs> I've never seen a kind of such blue. I love it. <laughs> I'm going to tilt it up a little bit because the wax from the pencils. No, I trying. really think this is reminding me of Tinkerbell. Because she has a twin sister who's like the winter, winter, yes. and she's not. And then, oh my God. Uh-huh. So tell me what you did on yours. I'm going to put mine over here. So it's March. I really, really wanted to get in that back to spring vibe. Yes. So I did a very orange um, I'm trying to get like a gold orange. Yes. Um, this one kind of, I did, I tried to do a different orange. Okay. It was both, like this orange and that orange. Right. But it was too bright. Too I bright. I didn't like it. Gotcha. But, um, I tried to blend it. It doesn't look bad. It looks like, like the sun shining off of it. Yes, absolutely. I didn't know what I was going for her dress. We've got purple and yellow. Yeah. But I wanted to add some purple in there as because her eyeshadow is purple, her, uh -huh. her eyebrows are purple, her hair is purple. Um, so I added a little bit of purple, and then her wings. I tried to give it the crystal look, like crystal. crystal oh, wings. I see. You got to show that glitter. You got to tip it around. Yes, very pretty, honey. I love it. Thank you. You did a fabulous job. And then it does do the bleeding, like at the edge, but it's fine. That's okay. I was gonna do a background, but I didn't feel like it. Yeah. But I did all the different kinds of greens. Yeah. We got dark green. We've got dark forest green. Uh huh. Then we got more just grass greens. Grass green. Leaf green. Yeah, leaf green, forest green, and I just have bright light green. Beautiful, honey. Thank you. I'll explain mine real quick. I love all the blue. I decided to do a monotone. And so I wound up using Sue Color Pencils. And I wound up using... What else did I use? Oh, I used Posca for all of the dotting. So I'll just show you up close here. Yeah, I just tried to get all of my blues out and try to create some variants. I love her hair. I love the hair. And this leaf is probably her my wings. favorite. Like her wings, that's what I was going for for her, but more colorful. Yeah. So that's what we did in Magical Chibis. You keep your book so we don't get them mixed up. Oh gosh, we always do that. We do. This Thank you so much for buddy coloring with me. You're welcome. <laughs> Every month. Every month we do. The next one is Woodland Kingdom Coloring Book by Toshiyuku Toshiyuki Fukuda. And I do this with Jamie's Coloring Love and Sherry Denowitz on Instagram. And we did this double page spread. There's the colorful Grammy. Back to color. Back to color. Back to color. Lots of it. I love the bat. <laughs> the bat stands out. Yes. So I wound up using Teo Tree markers. Again, that's how I figured out I was losing some as it is. The ink? The ink was dried up. <laughs> it still looks pretty good, though. You did fabulous. And, and I didn't have the time to uh, go over that part with pencil. And then I used Artex pencils. I have a haul to show you, but I wound up using some Link glitter pens on some of this. Here, I'll show you where I use some link over here. And what I found is link uh, doesn't dry for a really long time. <laughs> and it's up here in every section of the bow. It was a good thing you didn't bow. use too much of it. Yeah, I saw that happening and I didn't use the rest because I wanted to get the page done. I didn't want it to last forever. And I also use some Spectrum Noir Tri-Blend markers also. And I had lots of fun, beautiful butterflies. I wanted to make it nice and bright and cheery. Blue is my favorite color. Hey, and my so, favorite color. Since it was my birthday month, I decided to go for a blue bow. And Sherry also did a blue bow for my birthday. <laughs> <laughs> so I'll give you a last look. And I will show theirs. And I'll have to remove mine to show you because it's a double page spread. <laughs> but thank you to Jamie's Coloring Love and Sherry for doing this page with me. Double page spreads 
are, uh, they always take a lot of time, so I appreciate their time. Jamie's is really cute, too. We put it on Instagram. I like the new feature where you can collaborate on Instagram. So if you buddy color with someone, you can invite them to collaborate with you. And it posts to your page and their page. Um, and then they can post theirs with yours on the second page and collaborate that way. So it was kind of fun. Did that a couple of times this month and it was pretty cool. <laughs> All right, hopefully you were able to see theirs. And thank you so much, gals, for buddy coloring. It's always a joy. And the next one we have is Monito's Coloring Book and Scribbles. This is by Monica Carlos. And let's see. Here she has, let me just show you the book. She has <clears throat> this book, in case you haven't seen it on my channel yet. So she basically makes scribbles, right, on a page. And then she creates these characters out of her scribbles. <laughs> I like that. And they all have toes. <laughs> <laughs> Toenails. Uh-huh. So, I, like, I like the swirly as a book. Uh-huh. It's lots of cute pages, but I decided to try to make something out of her scribbles. And this is what I did. <laughs> what do you think? I love it. <laughs> so I made... Oh, I love that fish. I used to do fishes like that. Uh -huh. And I would like, make them like, very... They weren't as nice as yours because I was like, what? Seven? Well, yeah, you were young. I was like seven. But... Younger. Yeah. So you can see the scribbles in the background. I wanted to make sure not this to cover like that up. This is a dog. Yes. This is like another mouse, I think. Well, the funny thing is, is like, this is a person, right? This is the feet. Oh, and I, I made a little pocket. It's, it's a sad head. It's a head. <laughs> it's like, huh? <laughs> and I was actually making this as a handbag. I see it. I see the handbag. I'm like, you know what? The handles. I see the handbag. Uh -huh. I, um, at first, I was a little confused. Yes. But now I see it. But it's it's a handbag. Pretty big handbag. Is this a bunny? That's a bunny a peeking. Bee? A bee. This is just a, a like a space character, maybe. It's a ghost. And you were right. This is a mouse with the tail. And the doggy. I like it. Yeah. The, the, the person, though, he's a little sad. He's like, huh? Uh-huh. <laughs> So this was lots of fun. I just wanted to show you all, and I, I put some sparkle pop up here. It's cool what, like how what everyone can imagine Yes. when it comes to these kind of things. I used the Sue Color pencils for all of the characters, and Spectrum Noir Tri Blend, and then I want to say that I actually used uh, an acrylic, one layer of acrylic so that you could still see the scribbles. This is a nice one. I like this one. It's funny. It's funny, huh? Yeah. So yeah, so you can do this or you can color her funny pages. <laughs> but yes, that's this is Monito's. I would love to have a book like that. Yeah. And then last but not least as far I as the books go, I did this one in vintage fashion on a uh, video. It is by Ko Un Jung. This is the illustrator. And the one that I did this month Ooh. was the lady with the pink dress. And for this, I used Neocolor 2s and watercolor pencils. It's almost identical. Close. It's a little off, but it's pretty close. It's okay. Everyone is, is going to be a little bit different. Yes. But I think I got a pretty close likeness. Is the whole point to make it the same or different? You can do either. Okay. They give you the palette. And so instead of using like the watercolor palettes that I normally use, I decided to use uh, Neo Colors, which is um, those. Uh -huh. I'm just showing her my Neo Color crayons. And then watercolor pencils. And I found out that the Albrecht Door is the one that has the fuchsia color. So it would have made my video much quicker and my time much less and yours watching it had I found it. But I was trying to use other than Albrecht Door to see what they had. So no real true like dark pinks in the other ones. So so yeah, this was on video if you want to check it out. 
I'll leave a little tag up in the right hand corner. And then the last thing I'm gonna have to pull. This is an old diamond painting that I started to pull out. This is the Carla Magana diamond painting. Huge. Yeah, so let me just show you the picture. What if we were to take a picture of it and just pull it up? Yeah, down here. Here it is. And let me show you what I've gotten done. It'd save you a lot of trouble. It would. And pull it up like you did with the body colors. Very true. But let me see if I can show you. I made some progress. And see if you can see very hard because it's large but yeah I made some progress on this I got all of this section done here see if you can see see all of the a B's so I made some progress on that sorry it's so hard to show I can show it this way too There we go. I can show this part. It's just a little harder to see the ABs. <laughs> but yes, my granddaughter is right. I can put a picture of the whole thing on there so that you can see. While you're editing. While I'm editing. So that's it. I hope you all enjoyed this video. I enjoyed being part of it. Yeah, it was fun having you do a little commentary on each page that I did. Which one is your favorite? I like all of them. Definitely the, the axolotl one and the mermaid one. The Ariel. The spooky with the axolotl? Yes. And then what else? Ariel? Mm -hmm. The eerie book? Mm -hmm. The last one I did. <laughs> and then our buddy coloring. And then our buddy coloring. Well, thank you so much for watching this video. And we'll see you in the next one. You all take care. Bye-bye. Have a happy Easter. And don't forget to like and subscribe. Yay. And comment. I would love to know which one is your favorite of the month. And I can't wait to see everyone's who put this Yes. She, she watches the video and sees all your comments. So if you'd like to well, actually, give I, her. I kind of can. Yes. So if you would like to give her a comment separately too, you can. And uh, okay, bye-bye. Bye. Take care. Happy coloring.